morning. It's uh, morning and uh, we're hard at it already. Um, so it's day two on uh, the Bobcat. So I've started by, thank you, uh, <laughs> I've started by putting on the compressor uh, and, and taking a look because I wanted to see what was going on. One of the problems is it was burning a lot of oil and it was smoking like a bastard. So I wanted to have a quick look in the air filter and I, I opened up the air filter, which is uh, simple. This is bit here, uh, obviously sort of bodged it already. Uh, and I, I've looked inside and I, I found the air filter. Now engines need air to breathe, just like humans. And this was absolutely clogged and full of shit. So I, I took it apart. There's uh, another bit in here. Woo! Um, and believe it or not, this is a cleaner or a more cleaner out version. So I've got the the uh, air gun. I've blown it out. I've blown all the shit off this. Um, and then I, I blew inside this. And I've blown each and every line all the way round to get as much shit out as possible so at least now we're dealing with a, a clean air filter or a cleaner air filter it ain't new but it's still good we've still got a uh, further on than we were so next i'm going to take off this air pipe and see if there's any blockages in there um because one thing my granddad taught me about engines and working on engines is you always go back to basics you always check out the first things first so you're checking your fuel you're checking uh, that they can breathe and you're checking your spark. We know it's sparking. We've heard it running. We know the battery's not working to full capacity, but that wouldn't cause the problems that we've had. Um, and we now know that it's not really been breathing right. So, oh, that went the air filter. But it's okay. It's not really breakable. You just don't kick it about. So I'm going to have a look at that next and take off, take off this hose and double check it for any blockages just in case anything's gone up it turns out that this has been run in the dust for a very long time but then it the last run out was all in in the rain so a lot of the stuff here has been pretty much the shit's been sticking to it so we've been as we've been going along we've been cleaning up everything and seeing how it is um my next port of call will be the exhaust but before we do that, I'm off to take off this hose. Okay. Oh, there's a light can see us. So yeah, so where we're up to, we've checked everything for, for holes, uh, for blockages. We've blown it out and we've stripped down the uh, bits to stop us seeing. So now we've got access to the top end of the engine. So now I'm going to have a start to look and see what's going on with the oil and things so this is under the digger I'm just gonna drop that there sump bolt drop the oil and then hopefully we'll it'll give us a clue as to what's going on in the uh, engine just had had a quick drink and something to eat Watching the chickens and the horses. And then back to the engine. Okay, so this LED light seems to get duller each day. And it's hardly used, so I don't get it. But... Must be one of those things, my my, uh, my car parts light thing, <laughs> torch. As bright as it ever, ever has been with like a couple of really not even like the best quality batteries. So I don't get it, but maybe it's the type of bulb or something, uh, the type of different LED bulbs. Anyway, um, a busy, busy day. Um managed to check the oil there was no bits in it or anything it was just oil <laughs> that came out there's no fluids in it that shouldn't have been um no metal bits or anything so that was brilliant news so it was time to break it all down and uh 
it took quite a bit of doing because well apart from the fact that I'd never worked on one of those engines before finding parts to, you know finding the tools the the socket right socket sizes and it, it had so much time on you know if, if you had a, the, the tool and used it you'd, you'd just do it <laughs> wouldn't you and when you don't just have the tool because you've got to just look for it and there's a whole massive place full to look for it in it's like I, I don't know how many hours I spent looking like if you if you added it up or what percentage of time is spent looking for tools rather than actually doing the job so anyway it is one of my great things in life that it's like man you know it's not necessary you shouldn't have to do that um and that's why i go nuts if anyone goes anywhere near my toolbox and doesn't put stuff back because they just like not respecting stuff and stuff like that so yeah tools mean a lot the, our tools are so important to us in life and it's so important we take care of what we've got because we're blessed to have it in the first place and i'm really really gra grateful for for all my tools and my selection that i do have so, and i'm even more grateful for my beautiful little toolbox with everything I need just to hand in such a small space like because that because when you're there and you you're surrounded by lots of everything apart from the one bits that you need knowing that if my toolbox was there I wouldn't have had that issue but still i'm not taking my toolbox there because there's people more than me um in that space and it seems like things can just vanish overnight and reappear in different places the next day so until that kind of stuff doesn't happen that is not happening anymore uh, i won't be taking my tools the other thing what else is there yeah because this the engine now i've stripped it down and took, took the head off took the rocker cover off and took the top end out um it's now looking like it's just possibly the head gasket itself so we're gonna have to wait on the gasket being ordered and delivered which will take as long as it takes i suppose so not going to work tomorrow which means that i can do stuff at home so grateful uh, for the lads came back i had stir frying rice which was absolutely delish um seeing the dogs was great to come back to it's like yeah mr batty comes with me uh, coming back to elsa and bear and uh yeah, I'm so tired tonight and I'm just so happy that tomorrow I get to wake up slowly and enjoy the day and despite the weather which is due to rain at some point or all of the day or for the next week, who, who knows, who cares because I'm just really happy that I'll get to get up and just do some stuff at home with my babies, my fur babies, and get the time to snuggle and spend time with Elsa and spend time with Bear and see the boys because I've not seen them really apart from when I get back. Um, so I'm really looking forward to all that. Um, so yeah, that's from me. I'm Batty, Elsa and Bear here in our tiny little house. Uh, we send lots and lots of love and we look forward to hearing from you. Um, just if you want to know more, keep it and up to date with our adventures and goings on here at Creative Roots, press subscribe, you know. 
subscribe to the channel and click the little bell so you get notifications when we stick something up. Um, like things if you like it. If you don't like it, press the don't like. Thumbs down thing. And also send us your comments because I love to reply. I love to hear what you're doing, where you're at and what you're up to. Um, because it's beautiful that we're all connected no matter where we are in the world. So, awesome. Uh, I look forward to hearing you, you all and seeing from you all and all that jazz. It's time for bed from one tired mama bear. <laughs> and Batty's already well crashed. Right, lots of love. Bye.